All right, 10 o'clock, finally going in. Here we go. Thank you. All right. So here we are. Want to check it out? Yeah, just here to check it out, really. Want to show some features or? Sure. This is recorded. <laughs> yeah. So um, we got Safari here. It's a full web browser, you know, same yep. as the iPhone. But the really cool thing is that a lot of the websites now are have their content in HTML5. So say, for example, I'm too nervous here. New York Times. <laughs> Um, it's really surprising because there's more flash on these websites than on the iPad. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a video, for example. Yep. Zoom in a little bit, click play, and it plays in the browser, like in the window. So, yep. wait for it to load. It's really, really cool. You can yeah. also pinch, make it you know, full screen. Oh, very and nice. Portrait or landscape, your choice. David Pogue, there he is. Um, so, it's really, really cool. Another great feature that I love is got to be the iBooks right here. Get your virtual bookshelf, pretty much, and then you can see. All your books, yep. really fast. The A4 processor is one gigahertz down here. Nice. So here's a book. Um, what's really cool is you can put the pages nice and slow. But also, if you have a word you don't know, like say for example, initial here, I can pull onto it, hold click, I have copy dictionary bookmark or search. Mm -hmm. Dictionary is going to pull up our built-in dictionary in the operating system, and it tells you the definition right here. So it's really really cool. Um, you can also just brightness within the application. So. Oh, very nice. So, you know, easier on the eyes. You could also make it bigger just in the application yeah, for the book. So it's very, very nice. Um, go back to your library. Also, the bookstore is hidden behind the bookcase. Yep. Very nice. And you can see all of our book collections. There's a lot of books in here. Even Oprah's book club, which is really cool. Um, go back to the home. Everything's really snappy. The search you have on here, like the iPhone does. Um, photos is great. Photos, you can actually pinch to zoom into an event. See what you got, yeah. and then close the pinch. You can search by photos, albums. If you have a Mac, you can search by events, faces, mm -hmm. places. So it's really cool. And um, let's go back to events. You can also rotate photos. Oh. I just flick it. Very nice. Off, so you can flick it. Uh -huh. um, back to the home. Uh, probably our my favorite application is Pages. You know, the, part of the iWork suite. You can see all the. Go back to documents. No, we're not. Well, let's make a new one, actually. New document, new document. And we can choose a layout. Same as the eye, you know, as the pages on your Mac. Mm -hmm. Poster, real quick. And um, now, can I sync templates from my Mac to the iPad? Only the templates that come um, installed on in iWork. Okay. But you can publish them to iWork.com and pick them up on your Mac. On your Mac. Yes. So we can do Apple. I'm just. You know, portrait or landscape, your choice in pages. So that's pretty nice. It's full screen now. Yeah, um, that's a really nice looking keyboard. There you go. Just like that. It's pretty much the same size as you know your laptop's keyboard, your MacBook. Mm -hmm. Got your documents here. Go back to the home button. Um, pages, keynote, which is really nice. Emails is really cool. It's got this like pop-up menu kind of look to it. Yeah. You can see our emails. Nice. And they're right here. Mm -hmm. You can check like your inbox. But when you're in landscape, you actually have a split view of both of them. Yep. So it's a little bit nicer, and you can do it at the same time, which is really sick. Oh, um, and you can actually rotate the home screen, which is uh, really, really cool. Yeah, I know it does. Nice. Um, the iPod, iPod application looks similar to iTunes. Mm -hmm. You've got your songs here. We can actually change the view. That's actually one button for iTunes because you just got the sidebar actually, there. Or, it's, uh, how does that one work? For iPod, is all your songs. For iTunes, though, you can play music in the background. For iTunes, you go to the iTunes store right here. So it's two separate right. things. But now, like, what if I want uh, movies and photos? Are movies they still photos? separate apps? Or? It's, it's in the iTunes store. But you can okay. go to videos, for example, and you can see, like, um, sorted out by movies, TV shows, podcasts, music videos, and iTunes view content. Right. Like it, there's pretty much virtually no wait time. Mm -hmm. The uh, processor in here is very, very powerful. So you can definitely tell, double tap, just change, you know, 16 by 9 versus the 4 by 3 ratio. Yeah. Done. Go back to the home screen. It's really cool, the animations also. And they got the applications now that are specifically for the iPad. Right. Um, a good application I want to demonstrate would probably be. Um, what's a good one I was playing with? Um, Penis Pro is really cool. Mm -hmm. So we can turn up the volume. We barely hear it in the store. 
but you can play the piano, you can actually change all this stuff and customize it. Record stuff and chat around the iPad. Um, it's a popular game. Labyrinth, there Labyrinth, we go. Yeah, it's very popular. It was one of the first iPhone games. So yeah, I've got Labyrinths on my iPod. They've got to be on the iPad. And it's in a high def, so for the iPad play. Oh, look at that. You can see the maps right there. Yep, and you can actually just use it, which is really cool. And as it gets, you know, harder. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. So, first level is always easy, but there's yeah. a lot of applications that are going to take advantage of, you know, the processor in here. Um, there should be a racing application on here, yeah. Real Racing HD, so it's for the iPad. Um, accelerometer is like you'd imagine it. Yep. Really nice feel to it. It's only about a pound and a half. The battery life is 10 hours, so it's really, really nice. Very nice. Um, the speaker's pretty loud, too, right here. Also a microphone, so. And the screen lock over here, so you can lock it. Oh. So it doesn't rotate, which is really, really nice. That's um, cool. Let's see, for example, a quick race. Customize your car. And then it's going to show us, you know, there's pretty much no wait time, so this is very, very fast. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. Yeah, it looks great. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to play this. I guess you just, yeah. And it's just, it's really cool. How do you, that's for breaking, okay. So you just lean forward, I guess? Seems like it. <laughs> I'm guessing so. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. Accelerometers are really, really nice. Mm -hmm. And it's a passive touchscreen, you know, with the iPhone. You yep. can do a 360 uh, spin, you know, so nice. on the home screen, which is really cool. 